Okay. Oh, don't get it. Hey, Merry Christmas. Jerry 5 here. I've got some spaghetti and I've got a marshmallow. And I'm going to put them together. And this is probably the easiest blowgun dart in the world to make. It just takes a few seconds. And so I've got a marshmallow stabilized spaghetti dart. Now the only thing is though, spaghetti is pretty brittle. So do you think that a spaghetti dart like this would go through a couple of soda cans like this? I think if I, if I try to push it through, actually it's not that easy because the can surface kind of makes it skip off. If I try it on the bottom of the can and try pushing it, the spaghetti just snaps. Now, what if I were to take spaghetti and try to push it through a plastic water jug like this? Now, here it's at least it doesn't slide as easily. So let me just push on that. And oh, now it broke. Nope, broke again. So, but what if I have to reach and grab it? What if I try shooting it through? Schedule 40 half inch PVC. In fact, I've got one that's already made up to be a blowgun here. I've got a mouthpiece on it, and the, the black color is because it's furniture grade PVC. So we're going to take it, actually, I've already taken it, and we're going to test it out on soda cans and on a big jug of water. Time for the big test. Got the cans set up. Loading the dart. And now the freeze frame is just to let you know I'm going to do other freeze frames just so I can show you what all's going on. When you're using frangible ammunition like this, it's quite interesting the terminal ballistics. So here's a replay in negative for high contrast. See there's six different streams coming out of that first can and then the second can there's just one big geyser coming out. Now we're going to go ahead and get up close, take a look at the can. Yes, yeah, there we go, and freeze it. See, there's actually three entry holes in the front of the can, even though I only shot one dart. And there's three exit holes in the back. We're going to get a better view of that in a minute. Yeah, there we go. So one, two, three, one in the I, one in the N, and then one up above the N of the G. Yep. Now in the second can, there's only one entry hole. And then at the A and L, you can see a little dent where that didn't quite come out. So frangible spaghetti blowgun ammunition will fragment into multiple segments. All three were able to make it through the can. Now here I'm getting ready to test out spaghetti dirt on a gallon jug of water. You can see on the first shot, even on the jug, the shaft shattered, two pieces were able to penetrate the front. On the back it actually penetrated, but the shaft snapped off, and so we're going to shoot again. I think the second time I shot a little bit harder, bam, yeah, you can see the shaft actually protruding out from the back of the jug. And the shaft actually broke on the front, you know, that front part with the marshmallow stabilizer is just kind of barely hanging there. 
but yeah, very nice penetration this time. And then I pulled it out. Actually, it was in there very tight, not easy to pull out. Very small hole, so if you don't push on the jug, the water doesn't really leak out. So then, yeah, if I pull this out, see how that was in fragments there. Here's a replay of shooting the can I showed at the very beginning of the video. And the interesting thing about this one, I didn't shoot as hard and so it only made a single hole, single entry hole, single exit hole. Uh, you didn't have that kind of fragmentation with multiple entry and exit holes on this one. Now obviously if you can penetrate jugs and cans with this thing, eye protection is needed because you can penetrate eyes or other body parts of people or pets with it. And so this is a lot of fun but not a toy. Um, any children need adult supervision and keep in mind that the darts never inhale when you're uh, with your mouth on the blowgun because you can inhale a dart. Here I'm showing target practice. Uh, notice that's a short blowgun this time, still made with PVC. Those two darts group quite nicely. Now I shot a few more and some of the darts, they you know group pretty accurately, but some of them break. So some you can retrieve and reuse, like these two that I'm pulling back out of the target there. In fact, I shot those two through the water jug that I showed. Now the uh, how-to on making the spaghetti dart is obviously pretty simple. You know, I already made one in a few seconds. But just a few pointers. Um, on your marshmallows, make sure that you keep them in a bag or a Ziploc bag if you've already opened the bag so that they don't dry out. You could use dry ones, but you would have to kind of sand them down a little bit because they become rigid. When they're nice and squishy and soft, they're really forgiving and they zip down the barrel real good and, and your dart usually comes out flying quite straight. Now spaghetti, you know, sometimes you'll get some fairly crooked spaghetti sticks. See, this one has quite a bit of curvature on the end. Whereas this one looks like it's fairly straight. Um, even one that's not perfectly straight, if you're going to use it or try to use it, put the curved part at the back on it. Um, now, the dart that I made before, I was trying to replicate oh, a kind of dart I've seen used um, like in the rainforest before, where they might use something like cotton or kapok and, you know, kind of leave quite a bit of shaft behind it, you know. Um, and those seem to fly fine, but you can also, you know, make your dart and only put the marshmallow stabilizer, you know, a little ways down on the shaft. You know, you could leave it like that, I suppose, or you could push it on a, just a little bit like that. I've tried them this way too, and they seem to fly quite well. Um, but you're definitely going to have some that, you know, will uh, fly a little bit wild. Um, sometimes the aerodynamics are kind of uh, hard to predict on these. Um, as you can see, the spaghetti is a frangible projectile. And so, you know, expect to make a lot of darts. And that's kind of realistic to traditional blowgun darts too. Because they're designed to be a very inexpensive kind of projectile. Unlike an arrow that takes a lot of time and energy to make, blowgun darts are intended to be quick to make. And if you lose them somewhere, like deep in the jungle, you know, it's okay. You can just make another one. Well, hope you have a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. Enjoy spaghetti and marshmallow darts. Shoot safe with them. And never point your blowgun at a person or a pet. Stay warm. And see you next time.